Rolling at Coachella is having a baby, and her absolutely rancid soulmate, Zayden Kibo, is actually happy about it. I'm praying to a god I don't even believe in for this child. Well, the secret's out. Rediscovery Volkov is pregnant with Zayden Kibo's child. Or, at least, she's assuming, the two of them celebrating at an empty bar at Conifer Station's community center. Girl, he couldn't take you out to dinner instead, or buy you some flowers. Sage, why do you have brown hair, and why did it age you 30 years? The Kilahas were up late, just letting the twins Aurora and Oasis do whatever. For being so strict, Shanna, I'm surprised you haven't enacted a bedtime for these woohoo trophies. Sage was studying spellcasting once again, Aurora and Oasis were playing with their toys, and our matriarch, Autumn, was working on her freelancing gig. Speaking of freelancers, her father Christopher was hiding away in his room, looking at selfies that he and our late founder, Alexis Volkov, took on Shantan's wedding day. He'd been doing so well dealing with her death. Why was he suddenly so sad again? Religious sacrifice got back home from her rendezvous with Zayden, and since he now knew about the pregnancy, she felt it was finally time to tell everybody else in the family. She started with her sister-in-law Shanna first, but first, she asked her if she had her blessing for her and Zayden to potentially get married, with the baby on the way. He's gonna have to propose to her, right? Shanna thought it would be great for the two of them to get married. Rhythm of the night seemed to have such a great effect on Zayden. Oh Shanna go, you clearly don't know shit. Shanna then asked why she was asking about marriage. Had Zayden proposed? Had they talked about getting married? Well... No, they haven't. But it looks like it may happen soon. Because Rat's Nest was pregnant with Zayden's baby. Shanna was thrilled by the news. She's finally going to be an aunt. She was so happy for the two of them. She knew Zayden could be a great dad. He practically raised Voldemar. Look at Sage trying to be a responsible big brother. And look at the way Aurora couldn't care less. Ricochet then headed over to her nephew Sage. Him being the next one to hear the news. Wow, another baby. Another one. He knew he was never going to get a break from babysitting duties. Welcome to my world, Sage. Renewal then called her big sister Autumn over, whom she was the most excited to tell. Autumn told her to make it quick. She really had to take a piss. But she felt bad for rushing her sister once she heard what it was about. Wow, another baby. Autumn was so excited. One more chance to have an infant in this household. She was so happy for her baby sister. It sounded like she and Zayden had worked out their issues, and she couldn't be any more grateful. Autumn would soon be leaving for an in-office day at work, so she spent her morning by making the twins breakfast and working on Rory's skills. She was still avoiding her father Christopher. Due to what happened with Clint, she needed to confront him about it. She wanted the truth, but she didn't know how to approach the topic without feeling insanely uncomfortable. She'd think of something at work, our heir Aurora was having the time of her life playing with all the new toys her mummy's got her, and while her stay at home, mummy Shanna was cleaning upstairs. There was a knock at the door. Who the fuck are you? Just kidding, I know exactly who this is. This sim is named Eileen Tala. Her and Autumn go way back. They were friends in high school, in fact. They were really good friends in high school. I just had no interest in exploring their friendship, but considering Autumn's best friend is her wife, and her other best friend Tate Harris died, and she cheated on her other best friend, Addison Chopra, with her wife. Perhaps it's time for Autumn to reconnect with Eileen. Shanna went ahead and greeted Eileen, letting her inside and away from the cold. When Eileen told her she was here to see Autumn, Shanna let her know that she was working. But of course, like any wife, she wondered who she was to Autumn. And that's when Eileen told her that they were old high school buddies. Shanna isn't really the jealous type, so she tried getting to know Eileen. Any friend of her wife is a friend of hers. But that was until Eileen started yelling at Shanna for literally no 
reason. I can't with this game. Shanna ignored it and continued on with the conversation. Perhaps she was having a bad day, but she changed her mind once Eileen left Shanna mid-sentence to go watch TV in the living room. Autumn's wife invites you inside and is hospitable towards you. And this is how you act. And that's when Shanna decided to kick her out. She can come back. When Autumn's home, she then gave our stinky air a bubble bath before putting her down for a nap in Sage's old bedroom. Giving her a kiss before continuing with her chores. And that was right around the time when Rita the kitchen came back home from her boring day at work. She called Zayden up because right now, the two of them were heading to the hospital for an ultrasound. Holy shit, who is that? And why do they look like Edward's long lost son? Reclaim your property and her man Zayden Kibo arrived to the hospital. The both of them so excited to see their baby and to get the gender from the sonographer. Though, they wouldn't be learning the gender just yet. They would be dropping off the results at Edwards and Hilary's place in San Sequoia afterwards and will learn if they're having a boy or a girl tomorrow during their gender reveal and baby shower at Edwards and Hilary's place. Radio Free Roscoe didn't care about the gender. She was just happy to be pregnant and happy that it was by her soulmate they headed with the technician upstairs for their ultrasound rising signs heart filled with joy as she looked over at the screen and saw her baby for the first time oh my god her son or daughter she swore she could see Zayden's nose and Zayden was as happy as can be too she watched the technician as he showed her the baby's eyes and then their feet and she was overwhelmed when he told her that he knew exactly what the gender was she couldn't contain her excitement. Tomorrow's event was going to be absolutely magical. They each got a copy of the ultrasound before heading to San Sequoia. After dropping off the results with Edward and Hillary, Zayden offered to take Rosalie Bastianich out to dinner. He picked out a very fancy restaurant right near the bridge with a gorgeous oceanfront view. Wow, a restaurant, how romantic. She could laugh in Dexter's face right now. He does want to take her out. Yeah, girl. After he learned that he knocked you up. But I digress. Luckily for them. The restaurant was pretty empty. So they had the luxury of having the outdoor patio all to themselves. They listened to the waves crash against the rocks. As they talked about their baby. Potential names. What they'd be wearing for tomorrow. The living situation. Surely with a baby. They can't be living in separate cities anymore. Right. Zayden actually agreed. But he wanted to talk about that later. Maybe after dinner. They finished their meals and ended their night with a stroll, taking a moment to gaze at the water. The salty air felt so good against Ripley's believe it or not skin. How lucky Edward and Hillary were to live here. How lucky they were to have such a healthy, loving marriage and three beautiful kids. They had her dream life, a life she's wanted with Zayden for so long. And that's when Zayden caught her by surprise. Finding out that she was pregnant really put things into perspective for him. He'd been down downright awful to her at times, and he was sorry. He knew his apology couldn't take back what he's done or said to her in the past. But maybe this baby is exactly what they need. It could be a fresh start, a clean slate, because he wanted to do better. He wanted to be a good dad and a good partner. Rutabaga felt the same exact way. This baby could be their fresh start. A chance to forget the past completely, including what she did with Dexter. Now, he never has to know. And since they were starting fresh, Zayden thought the title of girlfriend was no longer a good enough title for the woman carrying his child. I never thought I'd ever say this, but Zayden Kibo just proposed to Realignment Volkov. The two of them are getting married. River Kilo, his grave, couldn't believe it. She was just talking about this earlier. Did she just accidentally manifest Zayden proposing to her? She was quaking. She was finally getting everything she ever wanted. She was marrying her soulmate. Their relationship was finally perfect, and nothing could possibly go wrong now. Right?